Hello and welcome to the video lecture on accessing the array elements. At the end of this video lecture, students will be able to demonstrate how to access array elements. The following topics will be discussed in this video lecture. Reading the array elements, displaying the array elements. Reading the input elements in an array. Now we will be discussing about how to read the input elements into an array. The for loop causes the process of asking for and receiving students marks from the user to be repeated four times. It means marks of 0, marks of 1, marks of 2 and marks of 3. The first iteration through the loop i has a value 0. So the scanf function will cause the value type to be stored in the array element marks of 0, the first element of the array. The process will be repeated till i becomes 3. This is the last time through the loop which is a good thing because there is no array element like marks of 4. In scanf function we have used the address of operator and ampersand on the elements marks of i of the array just we have used it earlier on other variables ampersand read for example. In so doing we are passing the address of this particular array elements to the scanf function rather than its value. So this whatever you are saying is address element. They are the address locations that is 2686728, Displaying the array elements. Now we will be discussing about how to display the array elements. For the given loop displayed on the screen, the for loop is the same, but now the body of the loop causes each marks to be displayed until i equals 3. It means first the printf is like for i equal to 0. 0 is less than or equal to 3. So printf percentage d. So marks of 0 will be displayed. That is 2 is 1 will be displayed. Then marks of then afterwards i plus plus means it is nothing but 1. So marks of 1 will be displayed on the screen. That is 3. Then afterwards then i will be incremented from 1 to 2. So it will be marks of that is 2. That is 5 will be displayed. Then now is i is incremented to 2 plus plus that is 3. So marks of 3 will be displayed on the screen. Now we will be discussing how to write a program for displaying largest element in an array through the code blocks software. Basically, basically this will be the default program when we open the code block software that is ink main printf hello world. So I want to find the largest element in an array. So basically I'll declare an array as we have discussed in the last class how to declare an array int array of pi. It means there are five elements. The array size is pi. So the starting value or the uh, starting index will be zero, array of zero, then zero, one, two, three, four. Then comma i to indicate the loop counter. Okay. So I will be having value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For i equal to 0, i is less than 5. In the arrays, it's where it has been discussed with the that the starting will be from 0. That is uh, so the last ele element or the last index will be array size minus 1. Printf. I'll be asking user to enter the different elements inputs enter the elements of the array I'll be using a slash n symbol here basically so it goes through the next line it's appropriate I'll put a colon then slash n so what about the then afterwards end with a semicolon scanf percentage d comma and marks of i it means reading is taking place at this particular statement so i'm getting the inputs and marks of 0 
and marks of 1 and marks of 2 and marks of 3 and marks of 4 i less than 5 so afterwards printf slash n process to find the largest element in the array slash n ending with a semicolon again as I want to check for all the elements for I am checking for i equal to 0 i is less than 5 i plus plus bracket if r of 0 is less than r of i then r of 0 will be equal to r of i so after this is done then i'll say printf slash n largest element equal to percentage d comma r of 0 so i have compiled it enter the elements of the array it's asking 1 2 3 4 5 so the largest element is nothing but equal to 5 and equal to percentage d comma r of 0 bracket semicolon i'll go for build i'll go for compile i'll go for run so one two three four five largest element is five so what is happening in this program is for i equal to zero means marks r of zero i have given input as one so r of zero is one r of i that is the next thing r of zero is less than thing now i plus plus it means one r of one that is output is two r of one input is two so one is less than two is it true yes so r of zero will be having a value as two whatever the i plus plus will be incremented to what your next location and afterwards the same procedure will be repeated and finally i get a value as five so this is how we write a program to find the largest element in an array so whatever the largest element will be stored in the r of zero now so this is the program written now pause this video for a few seconds and try to write answers to the following question what is the index number of the last element of an array with 29 29 elements a 29 b 28 c 0 programmer define so what is the index number of the last element of an array with 29 elements it means the size of an array is 29 so basically when we are declared an array or whatever we are discussed with the last class or the this slide it said for i equal to 0 that is the starting reading of the array element starts from 0 location so it will be 29 elements is 29 minus 1 28 so the option will be the b These are the following reference. Thank you.